let's go a little uh, more into this pH thing. So for pH, we've got, um, for Cohort C, a couple of uh, really good blog posts on um, pH. So this one's by Xander. So he, he explains pH and has an image here of the pH scale, which, yeah, doesn't uh, look too good on black. So I want to help you with that because it's kind of small there. And he's got his graphs, which those do look well when you uh, expand them. So you can see the data that we've collected um, just this fall. This shows you how it varied. And if you look at the numbers, it varied by tenths and hundredths of a pH. So it's not a lot of change. And it's still with less than seven, which as you learn from his uh, blog post, anything less than seven is acidic and fresh water needs to be a little bit acidic. Uh, that's how it is normally. So that's good. It's within the good range. And then going back to 2002, the last 19 years of our creek, we only had a few years, um, 7.6, 7, and 7.23, 2004, 5, and 6, where clearly there had to be a mistake. Um, I put the data down because I can't fudge the data. I can't skip it. I mean, that's what we got. I verified it. But it didn't make any sense. Our water is not alkaline or basic. Um, so these numbers represent human error or, or uh, testing error. We had chemical testing kits back then, and you had to compare the color of the water after putting a chemical in it with a color chart, and that's a little hard to do. So we can count those three as probably mistakes. Well, not probably, most likely. But then you look from 2007 all the way to now, the data remains consistent. Looks like it's gotten a little more acidic, but, you know, our, our equipment is not state-of-the-art. It's not perfect, so we're just looking at the range. Is the range good? Then we can say Chimicum Creek's pH is in a good range for fish. And then you've got this one from uh, Dylan, and he's got some information and, and pictures, and you can see what the temperature probe looks like. And look, he got a cool comment from somebody on February 4th. That's really nice. It just shows that your work is getting out there when you publish a blog post. And and you can see this chart is kind of cool, but let's look at a one that helps you understand different pHs. So we learned that 7 is just pure H2O. There's an equal amount of positive hydrogens, equal amount of negative hydroxides. That just makes pure water. Um, anything less than seven is acidic, and we see milk is a little bit acidic, coffee is a little bit acidic, tomatoes are way more acidic, vinegar, now come on, you've all tasted vinegar, it's a pH of three, that's a pretty strong acid. Lemon juice is stronger, but your stomach acid is really strong because it has to break out, down all the food you put in there so that it could convert the food into energy and it could use the, the, the molecules and atoms in the food to make you, to build all your cells. So those are acids. Higher than seven are what we call bases, basic, or alkaline. You've got eight is your blood, and that's a good pH for your blood. It's a little bit uh, basic. So is seawater. Okay, so the ocean tends to be a little more basic. Creek water tends to be a little more acidic but they're both really close to seven, so they're not super strong. Uh, baking soda is a base of nine. And when you mix a base with an acid, like vinegar and baking soda, probably done it, make volcanoes, you get a chemical reaction. But you're left with water because the positive hydrogens combine with the negative hydroxides, two hydrogens, one oxygen, H2O, that's water. And look, stomach tablets, things like Tums, have a, a pH of about 10 because they have to neutralize your stomach acid. Not all of it, because you need stomach acids, but it neutralizes some of that acid so it doesn't hurt your stomach. And then you've got things like ammonia, has a, a pH of 11, so it's a pretty strong base. So is soap. What? 
soap has a pH of 12, but you get bleach and drain cleaner. Those are really strong bases and, and you know, they're, they're poisonous. So don't, don't drink a base. Don't drink an acid unless it's lemon juice or vinegar. I wouldn't drink stomach acid. That's gross. And battery acid is just super strong. It, it has a pH of zero, the strongest acid, whereas drain cleaner is the strongest base. So if you mix those two together, they neutralize each other. It's really amazing the way that works. Um, and, and each one, like coffee and tomatoes, since tomatoes are four and coffee is five, tomatoes are 10 times more acidic than coffee. So it goes by 10, right? So vinegar, which is three, is 10 times 10. Vinegar is 100 times more acidic than coffee. Whoa. But look, 10 times 10 times 10 for lemon, that's 1,000 times more acidic than coffee. And it works the other way, too. So baking soda is 10 times more basic than blood, and stomach tablets are 100 times more basic, and ammonia is 1,000 times. And it's 10,000, 100,000. You get the picture. It really grows because every point one, you know, it gets stronger. So it, it just gives you a better idea of pH that you can add to your notes and no more, right? There you go.